That was weirdly delayed. <laughs> I mean, conveniently, I guess. But, uh, weird. <laughs> Good evening, Bowman Freak. Yeah, phone noise is intensified. Sorry, I forgot to plug it in prior. Uh, good evening, uh, Max. Thank you for the uh, resub there. Much appreciated. Uh, camera. Look at me. Oh, no, it's not working. Why? There we go. Come on. Did it work? There we go. I made Stream Deck actions so I could be a professional and they don't work like a third of the time. I don't know. Hello, T3. Please feel better. I am feeling better. Thank you. Um, my only real thing at this point is I haven't eaten a lot today. Um, not in like a bad way, just my body doesn't want a lot of food right now, which is probably fine. Um, uh, I, I, I do not want your licks, D3. Your, your desire for me to feel better is, is good enough, but thank you. Um, but like, no, everything's... More or less back to normal. I just probably don't have quite as much energy as usual today, but we'll see. Worst comes to worst, I just end the stream early. If I get tired, I'll just do that. But uh, I'm feeling more or less okay. I was back to work today, so. Anyways. Um, yeah, so this week is a little different because it's next, fe next fest. And... I didn't... Ooh! <laughs> Yeah, this is just classical. I don't know what Pretzel is doing today, but all right. Yeah, let's get real, real fancy. So this week we shall be playing a variety of demos uh, that are here during the Steam's Next Fest, which is a demonstration. Uh, this is actually uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Uh, so yes, we shall be uh, enjoying a a variety of demos this week. Uh, I, for today, I have uh, arranged for us uh, one broken lens. Uh, the Invincible. We'll see how well that runs on the old computer. Uh, Wild Mender. Hopefully Dancer shows up, as it was their suggestion. And if there is time, uh, Battle Shapers, which, I don't know, it seemed kind of neat. Spiffing. Spiffing's a better word for this accent. I, da I don't know why we got classical. This is very odd. It's supposed to be playing my favorited, but you know what? Whatever. Oh, somehow I clicked on surprise me. Well, that would do it, wouldn't it? Uh, my music. I don't know how to get back to my my light stuff. This is actually kind of wild. I, I don't know how to get to my light list. How about up here? Profile? No. Yeah. Am I surprised? Sorry, surprised by what? I reckon playing a game to remove the classical music? You know what? Yes, that's a that's an excellent idea. I'll figure this out later. So we're going to start with a uh, broken lens, uh, which is currently windowed mode. So one second, I guess I can drop the accent now. Uh, that the Mozart is no longer playing. So I actually learned about broken lens from hold on configuration. Not windowed, not resizable. Full screen, there we go. Uh, which one of those is the correct? Does the resolution even matter at that point? Sure, it's probably that one. Okay. Wait. So I actually learned about Broken Lens uh, when I was watching uh, another streamer and uh, when he actually can show up here because uh, I stream when he should be sleeping, uh, Murph. Uh, was playing a game that these same devs had made before, whose name I don't remember, but I'm going to look it up really quick. Because it was a neat game. It uh, 
wore a lot of its inspirations on uh, Slee, so uh, Team Run is the developer, and the game was called Run, uh, The World in Between. And uh, it's very much a kind of not quite roguelike Celeste runner. It was really neat. And uh, the devs were in his uh, chat talking to him about the game and all that. And they mentioned, hey, like we have Broken Lens coming out. And so I looked it up and it looked cute as hell. Um, and it's effectively a uh, Spot the Differences game. I don't know how they're putting a spin on it yet, um, but that's that's what we're doing here. Okay, so I click on the things. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, pipes on the middle. I'm just checking my resolution. This seem this looks a little weird. So I don't know if the resolution I picked was a bad one. Give me a hot second here. Like the UI looks just a little weird and I don't know. Let's just go back to that. <laughs> could just be me. Could be that this is a demo. Who knows? Mm, I feel like it looks a little better. Anyway, so there's a bunch of differences down the middle, and there's also, like, secret crap as well. Like, collectibles, because of course there is. Can I guess wrong? Okay, you can guess wrong, but there's no punishment for it. Cool. We're just gonna try and steamroll this. Uh, I'm aiming to do three games a night with uh, with Next Fest. I mean, I was hoping to do Next Fest yesterday as well. Um, but, you know, uh, I spent a lot of the weekend uh, not in a great place. Oh, can I click on either side? Okay. Okay, so you can do it on either side. Okay, that might just be easier for my brain to, like, click on the thing that is there on whatever side. Um, yeah, I wasn't doing great over the weekend. Me and a selection of my family, truth be told. So, uh... Even though yesterday I was recovered, I'll say, I uh, didn't have a lot of energy, is the honest truth of it. Even though I was feeling better, I was also feeling tired. Uh, so instead, I just uh, sat in bed and uh, uh, stumbled through some Tears of the Kingdom uh, whilst I watched uh, Pokemon Freak. Uh, doing some some Minecraft on their fancy new rig. That's got all kinds of power in it. So they had them shaders all on, and it's very pretty. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. So that's the secret paper. Oh, there's more. Oh, so there's a button that'll tell you something that I, you missed in an area. So there's something here, like the giant robot head, uh, that was missing. Neat. God, there could be something else. Oh, like this whole robot? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what's that? A little dynamite or something there? Oh, and Navi. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to be honest. I'm I really dig the aesthetic of this game. I'm gonna start up here. This is a very relaxing game, and I could see very much certain. Your mouth is wrong. Um, like certain types of of streamers and streams, uh, enjoying the ever living hell out of this game. Also seems like it'd be a fun one to have, uh, you know, chat help with kind of thing. Oh, pizza. It's striking. I want to eat it. Yeah. You know what? I get it. I personally don't want to eat it, but it does have really strong, like, cute Japanese candy vibes to it. I absolutely understand where that impulse is coming from. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, what? The Ashalata God? Mmm. Also, hi, Dancer. Um, you'll have to stick around to the end of the stream. Because um, I put whatever game it was you mentioned. Uh, it's in the stream title. Down. Hold on. Over. Wait. Over. That way. Probably that right about there. Um, whatever it was called. <laughs> uh, it looked neat. Wild. Wild Maker. Wild something. Um, oh, looked really neat. So, threw that on the list. And that's why I told everyone in the Discord uh, to, you know, send me games. Because I will happily uh, pull up any demos that people want uh, to see me do. Otherwise, it's just some of these are on my wish list. Um, Oops. But uh, some of them were suggestions from you. Some of them were just things that looked neat. Your arm. <laughs> Try your hardest not to fall asleep. Which is most of your streams lately. Hmm. I don't take it as rude. I mean, D3 has said on more than one occasion that they've used my stream to fall asleep. So, it's certainly possible that my voice just has that effect. Okay, I'm missing four, which is a lot. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'll start looking at this grass. Checking those lumpies bumpies. Any miscellaneous lines? Not where they should or shouldn't be. Vote for Sleepy Time Dudson voice for anything past 12. <laughs> um, so, hold on. I just think of the Mega Touch Machine and abs had the app that had the erotic photo match game, which, oh boy. Oh, God. <laughs> I like how that's a reference. Basically, only you and me would... Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, would know. <laughs> <laughs> Just play this in VR and click wherever your eyes don't agree with each other. Uh, see, that won't work for me uh, so easily because I am... I don't know what the term is, but I am super left-eye dominant. Oh, Dancer, you went to the app once? <laughs> Good times? I'm a leftist, yes. Even my eyes are left-leaning. Um... Yeah, I just have super left eye dominance, so uh, I can't do uh, 
VR very well um, for any kind of projected 3D thing, actually. It doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to use the button. Shit. <laughs> I don't like the fact that I was basically staring right at... Oh, it's this whole fucking rock. Yikes. Is there something else here, though? Oh god, there's something else right here. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the bubble. Oh crap. There's one more. Let's have a look at all the bubbles, actually. Check them shines. Check them for extras. Well, those all seem fine to me. Okay. For a couple of years, my dad kept going to see 3D movies. He only has one eye, had no idea why it wasn't working for him. <laughs> Bless. There's going to come a point where I just start clicking on fucking everything. The fact that there's like a parallax effect to this too. I actually both enjoy and hate. And I will say chat, by all means, if you see it, please let me know. I've got games to get through here. I don't want to get hung up on my own sense of needing to complete things, which we both know can be a problem. I have been, I have looked at the background scenery. I don't think it's the background scenery, but like, it could be anything, you know? Go down a bit? Okay. We should actually know this area is clear because the circle went away. Oh, we're about to get it back. The game is the game is going to help. I do like that this refills. Eventually it's just like, oh this fucking guy. Okay, hold on. Gonna be something like with the water here. It reminds you of DMing. <laughs> what were you just stare angrily at your players while they don't dance around the obvious? Can I press the button yet? Nope. Okay, I'm pressing the button. What? Son of a bitch. <laughs> you spent 40 minutes trying to figure out how to open this unlocked door. I need to give him a hint. Now, is that because the DM has burned them repeatedly on doors? <laughs> and so now they're just gun shy? Okay, spoopy ghost. Look at all these cute little sleepy frogs, though. Speaking of sleepy frogs, that's... Wait, what? 
Oh yeah, it's over there. God. Oh, water. Who could say? <laughs> They're obsessing over some object that has no relevance. Time to tell them it's a pickle jar. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay, that little circle was in the background, so that fucking sucks. <laughs> that does not bode well for us. Nothing is sacred. Everything must be questioned. Oh god, there's a down. Oh no. Hold on, there's more at the bottom. I saw some of it for a second, but it was a speck on your glasses. Mm. Right now, I'm just kind of scanning below this line, trying to restrict my my window of of things I'm looking at, <laughs> so my brain just doesn't give up. Sorry, what? Hold on. So, pickle jar was the story of our DM's party is completely obsessed with the thing I mentioned casually just for a moment. The pickles come alive and start thrusting at you. Oh no. So, you know, what are you talking uh, Are you kidding me on that? Oh no, it's just the stream title hiding something? What? What, what, what? Top left, yeah. Also, keep an eye out for the papers. Got th those hidden papers that we gotta find. Oh, this thing up here. Gotcha. So I would get new to Hydra, but I'm assuming you just don't want that. No, no, D3, it's fine. Like I said, I'm basically back to normal. Mm 
Mm -hmm. The only thing I would ask is potentially like beans or sour balls. If you're going to redeem those, perhaps let's just bank them for a day or two until I'm feeling better and then we'll, you can cash them in. Leaves? Can you be more specific? Those ones all match. <laughs> now you're doubting yourself. Don't worry. You get used to it. I'm checking like all of here. Stop looking at the top left corner. Yeah, it's a little tricksy up there. I'm hoping that they kind of compensated for that. Black, red, T3. Do you know how LEDs or colors work? You just want red with less intensity. Is that what you're? Okay. All right, hold on. How's that? Is that good? Yeah, okay. God, I haven't seen the hidden paper either. Okay, let's use the button. Oh, that's... That's an interesting area. Okay, check the bubbles. Check the lily pads next. Oh, dude's mouth. God, that's all I got out of that. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, let's start over. Let's check down here. This game stresses you out. There's a handsome red-haired man on the right. Hmm. But not the left. Very interesting. And yet, I... It's not that. I was wondering if that would speed the, the finder up. <laughs> God damn it, where's the paper? Why do the flowers look like inflated condoms? I don't know. Plants are weird, man. They look like all kinds of things. The houses look like balls to you? I mean... As a farmer, I would have thought that you would probably say, like, turnips or perhaps beets. But sure. Why not? It's the stubble. Good old plant stubble. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! I found the paper. Are you Wally?
Background frog on the right. Oh, yeah, right there. Very good. Also, someone keep an eye on the timer. <laughs> so the stream it like I, I I think I technically have to stop soon. I'm gonna get through. Is there a timer? Not officially, no. I have two and a half hours and I want to get through three games. So it gives each game something something math is hard. Like 50 minutes. Oh yeah, there it is. Good job, you know. Yeah, it gives each game like 50-ish minutes, I guess. Let me just check something. Very dramatic music. We did that one, did that one, did that one. Okay, so I think we've got two more levels left. I guess. Music does a lot of work though. Tall horns. Yeah, let's just pick a corner and work our way forward. And try and turbo mode this a little bit. Oh, the spot on your arm. The rocks. Is it something with these rocks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got one you can rest now. Don't worry, Dancer. I always consider you to be contributing. Oh, hold on. There's the paper. That was tricksy. I always consider you to be a contributing member of the of chat. Oh, the star. Your wart. God, the music in this game though. It's going very hard. I love it. Your scar. Whole ass dudes missing. When your flanges is colored. pissed if it's like one of these dot patterns in the background oh that'd be infuriating I'm glad it hasn't done really subtle color difference yet yeah I don't think it they well, I can't say they couldn't anymore, but like, that's not so much a thing anymore as any level of accessibility knowledge has come into the gaming world. I mean, it still happens, let's be totally honest. Okay, I'm gonna use the button. We're on a timer here. What am I missing? Oh, 
Oh, missing bush. Shit, that was the only one. Okay, well. Man, we were we were doing really well there. Just crushed the first like 70%. <laughs> Missing bush is one of the differences in the Mega Touch machine. <laughs> oh, man. Why don't people take video games seriously? That's why. They wouldn't do that again, right? I don't know this area is clear. I'm looking at all the little friends now. They seem fine. Not sure her friend is quite accurate. Fair. really messed me up is if this game started doing like the same thing is wrong twice like you click on something it fixes but it doesn't fix right and you have to do it again Once again, looking in the background. The bar top, uh, touchscreen arcade machines. God, those things were a trip. Didn't they all come with like that terrible Colonel Custard game? Where is it? Oh, okay. So it was still right here, huh? Shit. It's going to be one of these plants in the corner, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, there's a whole ass block there that shouldn't be. <laughs> Look, there's a whole ass blow. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, happy little cloud. Oh Jesus. Dude's got a fro. There's a <laughs> well done, Pokemon Freak. Oh, dang, it's all the Twitter users leaving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bottom right. Oh, yeah. Extra, extra dinger on the doongler there. Oh, dude's got a fish. Bird face. One was wrong. Don't know which one.
Okay. Let's just keep looking at burbs for now. Yeah, there's that one's fro. Oh, there's the paper. Tell this little robot, don't forget to wish list. Aww. Cute. Good luck taking garbage out while I think of it. Let's race, you know. <laughs> Who's going to finish their job first? I bet I know. I'm just using the thing. Let's just do it quick. Oh yeah, there's a whole ass bubble. Pillar plant? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Checking the treads. No. Do some more quick cloud shape checking. That all seems good. I'm not seeing anything obvious in the background. So it's all got to be down to birds at this point. Okay, one more. Which goddamn bird is it? There it is. Bam! Hooray! Well, I got an achievement there, which means I missed a paper or something somewhere. I think. Oh, there we go. No, I just had to come back to here. 
So I got all the gems. I've done all the things. Demo is, is officially done diddly on. And I still don't know where my liked list is, which is amazing. Stations? Oh, there we go. I found it. Okay, so uh, that's Broken Lens, uh, which is very cute. I don't know how many levels they're going to dump into it, but it seems like a pretty chill kind of overall. Well, maybe not if you're playing the way I was, which was under a time limit. Um, but uh seems like a pretty chill game. Seems cute. Um, I hope that they do something to clean up the imagery a little bit, just because when I was moving things around, it was a little sharp on some of the assets, and I don't really know... I don't know why. I don't know if that's like a resolution thing for me or I don't know. But uh, any hoots. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta take those. It was very hard to find the differences. They should put highlights on them. <laughs> yeah, game's too hard. Uh, okay, Wild Mender up next. Boop. So. Dancer, hope you're not asleep yet. Skipping to the end, I I changed things around in the yeah I'm I'm yes. <laughs> if Dancer's gonna be sleepy, I will make uh, I'll make some concessions. Besides, honestly, with next fest like the Invincible is gonna be some big ass AAA tale that comes out. Everyone's gonna be playing it. Me playing a demo of it is not gonna be like blow anyone's mind. I'm pretty sure this is the demo that people saw first, like, impressions of back in the day uh, when it was first announced. Um, or first gameplay footage trailer, whatever came out. Um, so when it comes to stuff like Next Fest, I want to see the Invincible because it looks neat. But really, I'm, I'm here for more of the, like the little games. You know, like, and that's what someone like in my opinion. If streamers are going to be doing highlighting demos of stuff from NextFest, it would behoove them to play the smaller games that are not otherwise going to be able to get the marketing behind them to generate the numbers, right? Like, so something for NextFest, uh, in many ways, is a lot of how a lot of smaller uh, game studios can, you know, get some eyes on their stuff. So like, why would I? Why why should I be playing a AAA title demo during Next Fest um, when I could be playing something like this? It, I guess it's my join and the other player. <gasps> Does this game have multiplayer? Nanny, the hell? Stand in the shade to avoid water loss. Well, that's concerning. When you die, you drop the contents of your backpack. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dancer, <laughs> what are we you sign me up for? The map can help you find your way home or other important locations. Never used a map like that in my life. Sandscaping lets you travel quickly down dune faces. Okay. There's a lot of tips in here that make me concerned about the level of ability I need. Umbrella Mushroom gives you an umbrella. Okay. I hope you're ready soon. <laughs> Don't tell me how to live. Let me tell you about the world that was. Long ago. No, that's not possible. Get away from here. Oh, there's a lot of things going on here. Okay. Hello up there. Can you hear me? Oh boy. I can use some assistance. I don't know how I got here. Whoops. Okay, I've got some water. Can you get me out of this rubble? Okay.
Oh, over here. Hey, dog. Uh, oh, cool. It's one of those Pokemon. Uh, thank you. I feel much better now. I didn't read the rest of it. Quickly, go for your bottle from that spring. Again, don't tell me I'll live my life. Okay. I did. Do I have to drink it? Okay, I drank it. Now I filled it again. And... Now what? Do I fill it more? Okay, she's super full of water. Now what? I press Q to drink water. I did that. Okay. I guess I'll fill some more water. Oh, I don't need to right now. Okay. Gather wood. Okay. That's wood. What's this? Maybe I'll put something together with all the stone in Deadfall. Okay. Oh, that's dune grass. All right, let's just follow the tutorial for a, a, a beat. Okay, four wood. Five wood. Sandstone. Sandstone. I did it. Oh, fuck, kid can jump, though. Build a workbench. Okay. I've played Valheim. Make the Apex Axe dig for diamonds. Yeah. I wonder what these... Like, what is this? Whatever. Okay, now what? Create a wooden circle. Uh, sickle. Okay. Uh, okay. I can break down... Cut plants and deadfalls with a sickle, then drop materials. Okay. Fuck you, plant. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe this? Yeah. Two. All right, now what? Take a spade. All right. Uh, Dune grass, a fast growing grainy plant with edible seeds. Okay. Dig at the bright spots uh, for fresh dune grass. Okay. Sol's known for its ability to revitalize sandy soils uh, and its use as a polishing medium. Okay, so it can do fucking everything, huh? Okay. All right. All right, we digging now. Now what? Beating their wood. Hmm. Press B to open backpack. Plant dune grass near water. Now, what defines near water? Is it this darkened area, which I guess is wet? Okay, I have backpacked. How do I plant? Okay, I plant you here. And then I'll plant you here. And then, I don't know, here. Hold T, select bottle. This is so many things. And then water it. Okay. Make sure you fill a bottle. I did do that. Now what? Explore for temporary food sources. Okay. Okay, fuck this cactus up. Uh, oh, I have to water it. Okay, so I gotta do like this. I gotta do like that. And now I eat it. Okay. 
Open backpack. And then... Eat it. I did it! Copper. Uh, wait, copper's a magical? Sure, okay. Protective amulet or mirror? That's something. That's a weird thing to say to me. Why would I need such a thing? Surely this inhospitable world is... is problem enough. Okay. So... How do I beat this thing? Equip my spade? That's... Wait. What am I looking at here? Is this cop? How do I know what copper is? Like, this is all highlighted, which kind of makes me think that's what I'm supposed to be looking for. Or am I just fucking digging? Like, am I just like... Maybe over here? Try the glowy things? I did try that glowy thing. Can I run? No. It must be the glowy rock. I guess I just keep digging around it until something happens. Where is the quarry? It's like, I can't do anything. Okay, I've climbed up. Hmm. The glowing bits on the ground? I thought that was the plant. Hold on, let's come up here. Surveyor Kingdom. Well, you win. <laughs> Give the man a prize. Alright, now what? Enchant my copper. Excuse me? In public? Oh, I need some seed. To enchant my copper. My essence is almost depleted from enchanting my copper. Uh, gather essence from living plants at night, and I didn't read the rest of that. The copper sh uh, mirror shoots a small homing spell. Okay. So, go into backpack. Where is it? Gear? Oh god. Oh, it's it's this thing. Okay. Fuck you. Okay. Press C and build a lean to. I need wood for lean to. Okay. economy you know what yeah you're right that's on me okay is that enough 
Yes. No. I need more plant fibers. Yes. Okay, craft me a lean-to. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Craft me a lean-to. Alright. Hmm. Put right... Here. Perfect. Sleep in it. Okay. We're sleeping. Okay. You're sleepy. Come on, have a look at the plants. Yes, they're glowing. Uh, okay. So, yeah, they can make essence. Got it. Uh, essence is key to life is the air you breathe. Okay. Walk near and you can feel the connection to the world grow stronger. Okay. Like 16 essence from plants and water them for more essence. Okay. How do I? Am I doing it? <laughs> Whoop. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, man. Just casual hauntings. Uh, hold on, man. I still gotta finish. No, no. Maybe we're... Okay, officially I have no idea how to collect essence. It just sort of happened. Do I just have to hang out with them? I don't know. What's your deal? Okay. Welcome, young one. It's hardening to see you. Okay. And this unlocks the skill tree, I take it. Yeah, okay. So we unlock memories to unlock things. Is there an indicator... Guess not. Anyway, she, while she was talking, I was doing that. That's what I get for not paying attention. Uh, open the map. So I need to go to that thinger. Okay. So, we're going to fill the bottle. We're going to drink the bottle. We're going to fill the bottle. We're going to go get some food real quick. I think. Gotta find a cactus. Keep an eye out for rainbow. I'm doing it. Thank you. God, Mirror, stop being my parent. Oh, that one didn't make a thing. Shit. So what happens outside this bubble? I wonder. I guess we'll find out. <gasps> Break the circle. Oh, okay. So this was just the tutorial bubble. And now things can hurt me. Uh-huh. Glowy structure. Okay, what am I doing this? Find the ominous crystal and interact with the blue shard underneath it. Oh, okay. Hey, man. Uh. Hey, man, I've played Breath of the Wild. Reflect? How do I. Wait, hold on. How do I reflect? Is it a swinging thing? Am, are we literally zelda right now? Is 
Well, not like that. Hmm. Oh, the mirror? Do I have to shoot it at the same time? Did it hold the mirror up? Did it say how? Oh. I see. Reading the instructions explains the instructions. Yeah, controls are at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Very clearly it says it down there. Anyways, I can now make fire. Which, I'm going to be honest, doesn't seem like the most terrifying thing to make here, but... Return the shard you received to this friendly spirit. Okay. Oh, you actually wave. Hi, man. Here you go. Oh, you got the little World of Warcraft exclamation point. It's cute. <gasps> this is a piece of na my name. My name is Vidius. Vidius Gamus. I was once a spirit of knowledge, a guide to many. But it seems I've been shattered, broken, and spread across the land. I now understand how incomplete I am. You've been incredibly generous in helping so far. I offer you what knowledge I remember in return. Speak with me if you wish to learn more, and perhaps if you feel up to more adventure in finding pieces of me. I'm going to be honest, I half expected the demo to end there. Uh huh. Red meteors of origin. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, I should probably like eat this. There we go. What's this? Oh, mushroom. Eat that too. And I believe I can eat. There we go. I can eat garbage seeds. Oh no, I'm mildly poisoned. That was probably the mushroom. Yeah, what does you got for me? Yeah, better food? You're looking to make a more sustainable source of food. Amaranth? Once grew abundantly here. Okay. Find a fresh enough seed and bring it back here. It should grow in sandy soils. Okay. Keep an eye out for thin, stocky plants. They often grow around forests. Hmm. Okay. And cliffs? Climbing cliffs is a great way to feel, for, uh, get a feel for your surroundings. And falling to your death, but you know, who's, who's come? Try climbing one and see if you spot anything interesting. What? Oh my god, what are you? <gasps> it's a pangolin! I can tame them! Okay. Opinion of game, up. Okay, there's stuff back here. What? What's this? Okay, how do I make your essence? Oh, okay. I was about to say, how do you make your essence pop? Uh, okay. I guess that's quick travel. I want one. It's very cute. Okay, step one. 
Get some cactus fruit. Take it. Okay. Collect crap. Hope we go. Dune grass. So we're looking for, I think this is amaranth right here. Okay. Oh no, that's just gonna be seeds. So I gotta fuck these up, right? Yeah. I think. Here we go. That's an acorn. Okay. Oh. Okay. Speaking of indicators, let's get that seed planted. Okay. Uh. I guess the idea is if I can plant stuff, I think it spreads the good ground. Bets on the friendly spirit actually being the big bad, but not remembering until all their bits are back. Oh, yeah, Max, 100%. Like, yeah. 100%. Uh, Do you have a cliff in mind game? <laughs> You know, just climb something. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll just run to that thing, right? All right. Let's just haul ass to that. I do appreciate that this game is very obviously going to have some kind of, like, very... Oh, green light over there. So there's a spirit. You can talk to them because that's how we do the... skill tree. Six succession. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. You plant the basic plants, which allows you to grow, uh, expand your area, which then lets you grow bigger plants and, yeah... Because certain plants won't grow in certain soils. Hey, man. What do you want? Uh, yeah, what'd you teach me? Okay, cool. How much adornments? Craft a piece of... Uh, craft con costume pieces at the loom. Okay. Build more complicated wooden structures to help your garden. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with that one. Left shift crown will climb walls. Okay. So I've learned how to be a carpenter. Jesus would be proud. Okay. I'm climbing. So climbing burns off your food. So food kind of is stamina. Okay. You lose water more quickly in direct sunlight. Seek shade where you can. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, clear up the remainder of the wrath outposts and bring them back to the dude. So one of his things over there. Okay, you have to climb down. I'm almost certain if I leap from here, I'll just super die. <laughs> They yeah, were probably fine from here. There we go.
Good music. That's a big fucking sun, though. Oh, boy. What's this? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's hang out in the shade for a second. And dig up... Can I eat those? Gosh, I sure hope so. I need to go get some power converters. What's out there? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, I don't like that. Oh shit. Oh, oh lord, he coming. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Okay, he's no longer coming. Alright, can I eat any of this? I think there's a toxin of three. Oh, I've got one of those. Ah, never mind, we're fine. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, hold on. Okay. I don't like that. I just bonked it and ran away. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, what's up? I'm paying attention now. I got my head on a swivel. Yo, what's up? Boom. Oh, hold on. I'll take that. Okay, now let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, it sounds like middle of the day. There is no shade to be found around here. I've got, got a thinger full of water. We're fine. Oh, what? Those hurt me? Bullshit. <laughs> Who gets hurt by a tumbleweed? I mean, us, apparently, but. Tumbleweeds hurt? Really? Really? This isn't me being a smartass anymore. What? The thorns can break off in your skin. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna have to park ourselves and eat some seeds, so. Let's get out of the sun. 
So we're not burning water when we don't need to. Uh, yeah, we'll just eat this. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Yeah, nom nom nom. Okay. And then we will... Uh, drink some more water. Okay, we're basically out of water, though, so that's... something. So I'm gonna try and fuck this crystal up. And then probably head back. Again, it's a demo. We're on a time limit here. Shiny. Take the shiny. I don't know, it's a self-imposed time limit. I could just keep playing this, but I feel like this is like the the extent of the demo. Hey dog. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed it. Oh. Okay, you, I'm going to deal with you first. Okay, one problem down. One. Two. Okay. Okay, in and out, in and out. In and out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Running away. Get in this house for a goddamn second. You throwing rocks? Goober. Alright, sun's going down though. That's good. That's gonna make life a little bit easier. Okay, where am I right now? In relation to... Okay, let's just scooch around this way. Into the shade here. So in the trailer it showed growing a forest and digging streams and stuff like that. Oh, I absolutely understand. Like, right now, I haven't played with it, but I have the distinct impression that were I to take my shovel and go back to our spring and uh, start digging a trench from that uh, that well spot, I could very probably start to create, uh, you know, some kind of an irrigation system. Because it seems the more we boost up the land, uh, the more water it, it seems to generate. Sorry, I keep hitting M for map like an idiot instead of tab for the map. Not my inventory, like every other game does. Also, I may have slightly underestimated the size of all this. <laughs> Which could spell our doom, because I'm running a little low on water, and I have one water. No, I have zero water now. Who is this? What's this? What are you? A broken grave? Oh, sorry, guy. <laughs> oh, is that fast travel? Hot diggity. Uh, okay, so it takes essence to teleport. Makes sense. 
Okay, we didn't die, everyone. Essence, please. Thank you. Uh, okay, fill it. Drink it. Fill it. Good. Yo, dog, what do you got for me? Here you go. You remember more? I bet. Uh huh. Getting around faster? I just did that. I just did that. <laughs> Bay can shape the land in addition to digging up seeds. See? Exactly what I said. So if I went like this... So yeah, you can extend your, your build out, I guess. Is there more crap I can build? No. No. Consumables. Pultus. Infusion. I can't build no trinkets yet. Alright. Press Q to smooth the train. Okay. There we go. Hey man, here's another part of you. And then... Oh, you want to teach me about healing now? And finding ghosts. We've kind of done all this crap, but... Uh, click copper, click sandstone, click wood. Learn about and construct the ancient altar. Eh, how about we just go mess up that last stone? I got water, right? Yeah, I got water. Alright, let's pop a mirror on. Let's hustle. Oh, that thing's gonna be far the fuck away, isn't it? <laughs> Yep. Not a hundred percent sure how I feel about the aesthetic right now. It's a bit of a cartoony thing, but I don't know. It's like a little My Time at Porsche style almost. I do not have a lot of edibles. Oh, I can maybe mine some copper right here. Maybe. That was a thing it wanted me to do. Oh, seed. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, where's the other thinger? Porsche's gra graphics are a lot more stylized and worse. <gasps> Hot take. Truth be told, I was not a big fan of Porsche's overall style. Like I... Oh no, Blood Moon Rising? Um, oh my god, this is so far away. Oh, 
Oh, that was tainted. Whatever that was. Seems bad. Man, they really make you earn this last one, huh? Oh! <laughs> okay. Ah. That's how one slides down the hills. Who needs sleep? All right, let's dance, Crystal. Yeah, way the fuck back here. Oh, shit. Okay, my dude. I need you to back off. There we go. Okay. Hustle. All right, there you go, man. I've unlocked every part of your soul. Again, hitting M for map, like a dummy. What the fuck? Temple of what? Temple of what? Oh, I'm not allowed in there yet. Okay, that was that thing I ran by before. I do like the various points of interest that it leaves on the map. It's kind of nice for, like, I presume farming purposes. Look, it's the end of the world. Look at all that water. Am I literally running? Kind of, yeah. I just saw that dude teleport down from up there. Yeah, fuck off. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna place this so it stops telling me to do it. There we go. Mind you, I guess running along the east coast is not, like, the best idea when the sun can kill you, but here we are. Hoping this is the end of the demo. Oh, the dome's not there anymore. It's probably not the end of the demo then. It probably wants me to go there. I think collecting these things will seem like a decent spot for us to finish.
Man, if there's fall damage in this game, it's very generous. Oldest food. Festival cake. <laughs> and I arrive tubularly. Whoop, back in town. Man, I don't care about no spirits. Here. Something's very wrong with the world. You don't say. I need to find Nea. Her temple should be where those comets were heading. Yeah. That building over there. She loved acorns. Mmm. How many does she need? <laughs> uh, okay. I didn't mean to eat two of those, but here we are. Here we go. I don't know, do people want me to go see Naya? Or should we move on to the next thing? Because I'm happy to finish this off naturally, because the next thing I was going to do is uh, the Invincible. I don't know how long that demo is going to be. Oh, shit. I should definitely stop before the climax. <laughs> Planters, path, bridge. Okay, let's build the stupid altar. Let's build over here. Okay, there you go. What else he got for me? Crafting medicine. Harvest, I don't even know where those things are. Alright, you know, let's just sleep. We've earned a nap. I can only sleep after... Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I have to wait till noon before I'm allowed to have a nap. I like how the game's like, go harvest this stuff so you can make medicine. Have yet to see that plant at all. Like, dog, I would love to. I had to stop with Porsche because uh, just it's just enough colorblind and friendly to make it a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, I can see that. That was a choice of words. I can understand that. Okay, well, sleeping heals us, so that's fine. Holy fuck! What the... Why? Why is there so many? <laughs> what? Okay. <gasps> How dare you? Okay, drink it. Fill it. I can sing to my plants, that's cute. Alright. Oh, hey man. 
I would use the fuck right off. Staring at me from the edges of my. Hmm. All right. I can differentiate differentiate that form from other similar games. Yeah. I'm hungry. What do I got? I got a backpack. All right. I I got. Yeah. Okay. Let's eat this. Yeah. All right. Those cakes are gonna carry us. Hmm. Seems fine, right? Totally normal color. All good things are an ominous glowing red, right? And suit lightning bolts. Yeah, it'll be fine. Nope, nope. I see. There we go. Seems fine. Everything's fine here. What's up? Oh, I was supposed to bring... Mmm, shit. I have an acorn. Bring an acorn. Yeah, I did it. Okay, where's your altar? Yay! <laughs> Behind me? Ah, oh, this guy? Oh, he's... Oh. Well, okay, hold on. Oh, that was a glancing blow on that guy. Okay, two down. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, where's the other flame guy? Is he, if he's not gonna bug me. Oh. Oh. Okay, you can't hit me from there. Okay. <laughs> No, oh, over here, man. Little, little to the left. There you go. Come on. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I've played a Zelda game before. Oh, I gotta find that spicy dude, right? Yeah, him. Hey, man. You just gonna sit there? Works for me. Oh, fuck. Don't you fucking teleport. There we go. My goodness, look at what you've managed. From the stoop so low as... Am for them to stoop so low as ambushing a child. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's good to see you again. Again? But you don't remember me, do you? Nah. The wraiths took much from us from you like all this popping to think they still woke after all this time to siphon yet more power from your creation sturge will be fur furious but here you are freeing me with nothing but an acorn and a simple mirror charm i am naya the mother of rivers yeah you got some work 
cut out for you. Bam. I hope bring you into the world in hopes of restoring these wastes. And look at you. Truly, you are incredible. I am proud of what you've managed already. This is a weird position. But I am rambling. Come here. I have a gift for you. Okay. What do you give me? What can I do? I give you the seed of memory as a gift. Okay. Use it to climb and run quickly across the lands. Oh, neat. Try using it in return when you wish to learn more of my knowledge. Okay. Okay. Huh. Oh my god, there's so many more quests to do. Alright. I am now calling it here, because there's like... There are now additional quests. <laughs> you gotta get a wind cloak. I still don't know where to get the world with those. Uh, like, look at all these things. Okay, so we gotta help the other gods. Okay, not all the gods like me. I mean, that's fair. I you think some of the gods might be corrupted, or... First is Gleb, in the center of the cliffs. Ah, yes. Gleb and Sturge. The cliffs were his city, and he was its center. Okay. Alright. Earthbending, got it. Makes a Sturge, goddess of the storm. Our home in the salt flats is not what it once was. Okay. She'll be angry and against your creation. Believing humans are irredeemable. Fair. If you can gain her favor, she'll be granted you the power of the winds, the power of flight. Okay. Lastly is Oros in the mountains. Different from the cliffs. The god of time is cryptic, she said cryptically. Yeah, Gleb from accounting, exactly. I'm not ready to dream that far. Okay. Go find Gleb. Or Sturge. Okay. Uh huh. So yeah, plants can return nutrients to the soil. Yeah, so I guess there's probably some kind of plant balancing mechanic, right? Dune grass binds and restores, but there are more powerful ways to return the land to a verdant green. Biodiversity! One of the most prevalent plants in this part of the world, the sunburst shrub. Uh huh. With a little application of our spirits, we can help them to remember the past. Okay. And create the Meadow Mother. Okay. Yeah, there's fast travel. We've, we've kind of learned about those already. Off to bed. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for hanging out, Max. Sounds like a Dark Souls boss. It does. Uh, might want to pair it fully before using it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. And then... Oh, you've got a gift for me. Wind walk. I lay to glide great distances, but do mind the usage of mana. Oh. The cloak belonged to Sturge. Okay. 
Okay. So. Ooh. Well, that's neat. I just want to repair it. Because it says it's broken. Need to enchant it with mending. Mmm. It's always something. You sure will that, will that won't leave me falling to my death? I mean... I have... I have certain brand elements, okay? Alright. We're gonna call it there. The demo's obviously got a lot more in it than we were expecting. And it does look like it has cooperative uh, play, so that's interesting. Um... Did you hear that they're changing how parachute works in Satisfactory? Yes, it's now a thing you can just equip on your body, and when you start to fall, it'll just f fire. <laughs> or something akin to that. Um, like, you can equip it. It's more like the paraglider from Zelda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, you can. it's like an equipable slot. It's not a consumable anymore, from what I remember. And it's easier to trigger. And you can use it in conjunction with uh, the your uh, boosters. So you can like launch yourself up like off a cliff and then you can actually glide and you can kind of really pro uh, prolong your, your flight time and fuel uh, with it. Make it actually a useful item. Which I'm stoked about because the one time I tried to use it, it didn't work and Ended up with a hilarious murder or death, but um, all right. So let's fire up uh, the invincible for the last little bit because I don't know how long this demo is, but I don't think it's super long or how well it's going to run because it's going to be a triple A game. Which is always fun on my now aged hardware. Uh, okay, seizure warning. Game may contain flashing lights and images and et cetera, et cetera. So, warning, I guess. For those of you with photo sensitivities. God, this is extremely red. Is this a triple A? I thought it was a triple A. Okay. Oh, don't know about those. Guess we'll see. New game. Welcome to the Invisible Demo. The fragment you'll play is not the beginning, but takes place later in the game. The main protagonists have always already been through quite a lot. However, we don't want to spoil your experience of the ent uh, entire game by swinging too much. On the next page, we provided just a brief intro to the scene that is taking place. Ah, uh, so this is just a vignette. AAA games tend to have 17 logos. Fair. Please keep two things in mind. First, getting to know this fragment of gameplay may still affect your reception of earlier parts of the game. Unavoidable spoilers alert. And second, remember that the current state of the game is not final product. We're still working very hard to improve its quality and performance. And now... So, Yasna has found information on the convoy sent from the field base of the Alliance, a hostile faction in a space race across the galaxy. Nevertheless, she desperately needs to find other people, even if they are political enemies. Yasna crosses the excavation area and heads towards the ravine, following the convoy. She's getting closer, so needs to prepare for meeting the Alliance by conferring with her astrogator. He's the commander of their unit. 
From early in the game, he supported Yasna's actions from abro uh, aboard a spaceship orbiting the planet where the entire story takes place, Regis III. Ah, yes, the desert Philbin planet. Oh, boy. Oh, no. We might need to turn some stuff down. I'm at 22 frames right now, and the game is just open. Hold on a second. <laughs> Actually, first, even though we're at 22 frames a second, I do want to say... Very pretty. So far. A little over-sharpened, perhaps. But pretty. Now, let's just go ahead and go over here. And let's just try... Let's try high. So high gave me four more frames. <laughs> oh no, that didn't apply. No, it did. Okay. Okay. Medium. Oh, I'm up to 30. <laughs> all right. Fuck it. Yeah, all right. All right, where am I? There's me. So I'm going to walk. Okay. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. They're not in the base. They must be somewhere, damn it. You're downloading this to see how it runs on your rig? Better than mine, almost surely. I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy, or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment. It's your call, Yasna. All right, I'll try to get there via the side path. Okay. Okay, put that away. Okay, putting the map away has increased my frames dramatically. <laughs> so the menu ate half the frames. Which is interesting. Are uh, the hitches on your end? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Def on your end. Of oh, your, is it downloads? All the downloading. It's a big download. Just be warned. Okay, so there's a limited sprint. Which it kind of does by fogging up the glass, which I think is a neat uh, effect. Man, even on medium, it's a pretty game. level is rising rapidly. It's starting to get interesting. I pretend I didn't hear that, Doctor. So wait, you want me to go that way? But what if not that way? What if this way? to the convoy what might interest you sir is that it appears to be a mechanically drilled tunnel circular precise i'm more curious about what's on the other end although curious might not be quite the right word oh i'm not sliding that is bullshit <laughs> oh there we go Whee! 
Sandworms? Uh, no. I am. There's mining robots. Oh, shit. They're close. At least one. There's not a soul. I don't see anyone. Oh, no. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. Yep. Didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place, not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. Oh, found the antimat. It looks damaged, but its log may still be intact. Copy that. Proceed. Oh god. Look at all the people you can find. Yeah, pulling up the menu eats frames. One second. Like I said I found that guy. I, I'm glad I have to take inventory. I won't get anything out of the other antimat. It's completely busted. Dark hole. Oh, can I not talk about dark hole? Did I miss my opportunity? I probably have to go through dark hole though. Whoop. <laughs> All right. Oh, hold on. There's more to do over here. Oh, and I found another dude. Hang on. Okay. So I found Hoberman. Come here. Come here. Okay, okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. Okay. Coordinates match the location of the base we've searched. All of the Alliance's semi autonomic machines can be remotely controlled, right? Yes. Case they were conducting an inspection before marching out. The antimatter's in an escort mode. Convoy's heading somewhere. They pass giant cranes pulling something out of a, well, giant hole. What was it, a dark hole? I don't recognize that place. Just in case, I've noted down the coordinates. They're getting close to where I am now. Is it a square hole? Mmm. Asking the important questions. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Oh. They're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How oh, subtle. Can you locate the breach? Yeah, dog. I think I got it. <laughs> huh. I'm looking at it now. They've pierced a hole several meters in diameter and the 
It's hard to say how deep. <sighs> Where's the Elder Tora go? That's right. It goes in the dark hole. Yep. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for. In that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. You need to know what to expect there first. Mm-hmm. Those containers ended up in one of the trans. I do like this interface. I wonder if they're still nearby. Even if it is destroying my frames. Shame. The transport's leaving. Something's going on. That dude took his fucking helmet off. That seems bad. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. Huh. The photo is such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear on his face. Measurements are also strange. The electromagnetic field is in the upper range. Uh, that's a recurring factor, which explains butting. Yeah. We're going in circles instead of getting you off this planet. Is there anything actually helpful in those photos? Don't you want to know what happened, sir? I do. My crew was safe and sound. I gladly investigated myself. Explaining this mystery would not only expand our knowledge, but also bring us honor and glory. Ah, yes. Exposure of the Alliance's incompetence. At the moment, though, I, I do appreciate that there's kind of a... <sighs> not... Not Soviet style, but almost like... You know, it's got... We're doing that whole, like, retro future stuff uh with this flash gordon almost uh style or possibly doctor who uh kind of visual elements next slide people rushing out of the tunnel running from whatever's in there but are we still considering whether you should go inside i don't know what what that style is called but there is a name for it Situation is far from safe, true, but I've got to do what I've got to do, whether I'm scared or not. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking slides. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And what happened next? I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Ceasing to protect the convoy. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. Oh no. It's limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Sounds like stack overflow. Tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second anti -mat. It's shooting into the air. Both were faulty. That's going to be a problem for somebody in space. Astrocator. The anti new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. I swear to God, when you get up, I'm going to be irritated. The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. They uncovered something and tried to shoot it, therefore the guns were faulty. No, I think the the robot started firing on it and shooting them. One by one. Seems bad. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. Uh, sorry, you have to see this, Yasna. 
Be discreet doesn't spare you. Who needs such destructive power? This technology puts us on a street. The robot got Ganon? Yeah. The Alliance will do anything to feel invincible, hence their flagship. It's not only them, Astrogator. If I remember correctly, we're not engaged in open conflict. Yet, we too participate in this ridiculous arms race. To the death and beyond. Ah, uh, yes. Buzz Lightyear's gritty new reboot saying. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Seems bad for us. If it gets up. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. Mm-hmm. Robots known to uh, 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 acknowledge surrender. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. And he got obliterated. The machine just killed him. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. It's on kill mode. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? <laughs> the last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. Yes. It could target you at any moment. Yes. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. Yes. If that's all. What about that tunnel? Uh, right. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, Yasna. Proceed. Can't wait for that robot to get up. I can hear a rhythmic. Metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Something still affects him. Take your time, Yasna. I'm rushed. I can't. I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio is breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. Mm -hmm. It's an Arctan coming at me. Ha. Huh. Something. Seems fine. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Oh, I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, yes, You need to rest. No. Just, no. I'm better now. Just walking in a little circle. Search location. Okay. Again, a very pretty stylized game. There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Well, Parts of the bushes are uh, fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. It seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. The box is filled with containers. Which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. Okay, moving on. Man, you've got. If you're prone to motion sickness. I feel like this game's going to be tough. Actually, I wonder.
turning head bob off. I'm literally looking for that now, and I think we will both notice. Oh, there it is. Why is it under controls? Oh, dang. <laughs> Hello, Wiggins and Co. How you doing? I was just turning the head bob off on this demo because uh, it's it's kind of a lot. <laughs> A raid? I know. A raid? A big raid. This, actually, I think this might be the biggest raid I've ever gotten. Anyways, hello raiders. Welcome. Good evening. How you all doing tonight? What were you, uh... What were you playing, Wiggins Hall? We've got a command for that, I do believe. I can't remember what it is right now because I never use it. <laughs> but, uh... Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm playing Next Fest demos. All this week. Ah, yes, Jedi Survivor. Right. Thank you, Esso. Thank you, Pokemon Freak. Um, yeah, uh, this week, um, we're playing Next Fest demos. So we tried uh, Broken Lens, which was an adorable kind of uh, compare the differences uh, picture. Um, then we tried, oh gosh, what was it? Wild something? It's in my title and I don't even remember. Uh, which is a kind of water, no, a desert base survival game. Wildlander, thank you. Um, where water is very important as well as planting and stuff. Seemed neat. Um, and now we're trying a uh, demo for The Invincible, which is a hot game everyone's been paying attention to. Um, yeah. So, hold on, you're taking advantage of a patch that dropped for Jedi Survivor to unlock a Chivo that was bugged. Ah, did you get said Chivo? I hope you got said Chivo. Um, he did? Fantastic. I'm very happy for you, Wiggins. I, I hate doing an achievement that doesn't work, you know? Um, but I guess I'll give the spiel since I'm here, you're all here. Uh, I'm Corey. I'm a variety streamer. I play all kinds of stuff, um, from, uh, <laughs> right now, Divinity Originals in 2 with, uh, Pokemon Freak on Mondays. Um, adventure games on Tuesday, half the time are like point and click adventure things, um, to space stuff, to, uh, indie tales from itch. I'm all over. And, uh, oh, T3, you going to bed? Fair enough. Good night, buddy. Have a good one. Oh, another dead man. Oh, another body. Is his face going to be weird? No, this body's different. Oh. There's no visible injuries. Oh. I don't know. It could be anything. Sepsis, internal bleeding, organ failure. Oh, I won't examine him now. Ah, my head is killing me. Yeah, we've got a cool migraine going on right now. Ooh. That, did that zoom, like, at all? Oh, oh. W, oh, okay. We walk with our camera. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Oh god, it's got an aperture setting. Focus. All right. Well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Oh, okay. All the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Uh-huh. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Obviously, it's going to be some giant space leviathan, right? Uh... How? Do you have anything <laughs> specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal, then I'll use a detector. Great. Okay. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. Oh, like mycelium? It's all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Oh shit, there's a huge one in there. So the structures I saw following Gorski. Neat. Yeah, 
God, what a pretty stylized game. I love it. it. Looks like two generations. One old dead a relic. Second, these bushes. Grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? Whoa. I simply use terminology I'm familiar with. Uh, it goes real deep. There's like a whole big structure here. A parasite on this planet. I would never classify viruses as living organisms. Now, there are theories that we humans have a common ancestor with parasites and RNA particles. Hmm. That's true. However, we can function on our own. It's not easy, but we can. Viruses, on the other hand, need to come into contact with what science calls... Hey, we're getting a lot of story tonight. <laughs> ...in order to activate. Uh, yeah, there isn't really any evidence of it, is there? Correct. It truly is a phenomenon. Active parasites on a planet housing nothing but scrap metal. <sighs> Shit! I can't handle it anymore. It's probably fine to fall asleep here. Have a little nap. Uh-oh. Oh. The robot... The robot fixed himself. Okay. That's chat for Yasna. We're not dead yet. I would... Okay, you let, told me to follow. Let me follow, please. That robot's fucked. Wait for it. <laughs> I'm calling it now. That robot's getting blasted. Told you. Oh, fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. The robot. No, no, the antimatter. You need to act fast. Move, Yasna. Fuck. No. <laughs> Yasna, are you alive? Yes. It destroyed the robot. Cool. <laughs> I didn't know what to pick. The probe won't come this time. Yes, sir. Stay calm. It won't come. No. Don't die on me now. I beg you. Don't give up. You can't. Is that the end of the demo? Oh. That's one way to end a demo. <laughs> wait, what? Hold on, wait. <laughs> Stop rambling. If you could reject it, why didn't you? After a series of successes. Awkward. Are you safe now? Safe enough. I wasn't I was just rambling while I was why because I thought you were dead. Like this robot outstanding in this field. I agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine. You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. I choose not to answer. Oh, I have to walk around. I have to do action to make it go down. Okay. Marit, she can no longer forgive you. Oh, it just picks the first option. The Interesting. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. Hmm. 
So it saw me. Oh no, it saw the robot. So, what do we do now? Oh no. Let me send Hopper for you? We're you still doing plot. Hold on. I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that doesn't tell me why it didn't blast me. Ah, the hole's cooled down now. We can go through it. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Doing all the factors. I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording device. Because I've been infected? Ah, yes. I am actually also a metal thing. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Wait, is this prey? Actually, it's right in front of me. Listen to the audio recordings. Okie dokie. I can do that. No, oh, hey, man. How do I, how, how, hold on. I do this. Five, four, three, two. Oh. Okay. Not working very well. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, Anka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. Twenty-fifth day of the mission, seven fifteen a.m. We arrived. On the we encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction. How? Site, separated the material for research. Now we're base. Come in. Oh, there we go. Doctor Bosa okay. wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. Twenty-fifth day. Base. This is Bosa. Doctor. These tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. The Lion's Heroes. They are slender and Love the propaganda. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other. Again, I really do like the style of the game. First, they started to emit an electromagnetic... That kind of retrofuturism stuff. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. You mean kind of like over there? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is <laughs> Big Hero 6. What? Hold on. I've seen Big Hero 6 a lot. I don't recall what you're talking about. Resembling the letter Y. With three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Nice. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflective light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? 
autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Oh my god. Anchor, come There's a lot of exposition for a demo. Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Oh, the nanobots? Oh, okay. Why? What happened? Scout came back from his whole city. Test look? I do notice things moving on the radar, which is concerning. Come in. Navigator speaking. Uh. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines. Even the oh, it was playing back that, too. On the equipment. Oh, okay. They must be dangerous as well. I don't know how. Not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I figured it out. Partially, at least. The Alliance More buttons. We're very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field. The field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So... All the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects. Months and Seems years fine. in favorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how What's up here? Right. Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues. Yeah, actually, that might be where we want to go. But Hold on. Being such as helpless, vulnerable, like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't. Won't remember anything, even language, their past, our voyages together. Let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them have gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now, It'd be worth examining, confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Okay. Jeez. That was a lot. <laughs> I've located one of the game is very verbose. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. The cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. This is fine. It's totally fine. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. How do we not have a flashlight? Now. It'll burst out. We can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theories, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Uh huh. <laughs> As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. 
The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider And a dude, they're bearing the lead. Mm. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are persuading yourself to define it as a life form? New information changes perspective, Astrogator. But I think it's better to withhold any further classification until we learn more about genesis of these creatures. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I, I do like how this force world does the whole, like, but in different forms. obviously there's a hole there I can come in on. Move, so it just hits whatever the surface level is. When they need to multiply, expand their volume. Is this the invincible? It is. Uh, and Mars. Absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of. It's a really cool texture. I dig it. Okay, so let's talk about all this stuff. Melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. And the swarm of flies, I presume. I don't know how large it was. Moldy rocks. You want no spoilers? Well, I don't know that. Uh, so far, as far as, more, as far as I know, the demo contains very mild spoilers. Um, but also doesn't really give anything away. Like, simultaneously. Like, it could theoretically influence the start of the game. But I've also been playing for... I don't know. Half an hour at this point. So I don't know how much more there is. Have I been playing this for about an hour now? God. So it is operational. Yeah. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Well, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. It's nearly twelve thirty. Did I start this at like eleven thirty? There are powerful emitters in the center. Yeah, okay. To those on Anago bots. Emitters only. Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ah, got it. I know how to get inside. Okay, I now we go in the hole. Will you dig a tunnel? <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Man, we do not have a lot of running stamina in this game. So far, things I've learned about this game are it's very pretty, it's very verbose, and it's very, like, stylish. And I'm differentiating style and, oh, and pretty uh, here on purpose. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck, indeed. Registry could be valuable. Excuse me? Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Come here. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, you're in the no hole. Way. It's fine. I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Or a gun. Yeah. Or a gun. I got inside the field. But damn it, we're a doctor, not a marksman. Do you copy, sir? Of course. 
The force field doesn't block radio waves. Which is insane. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. Clear? Okay. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Turn off the force field. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's here. Was that it? Okay. Oh god, those are awkward controls. You have to click and then move the mouse. Oh, hey man. Just as I thought, the equipment's still active, but everyone here's dead. Okay, what magic button do I need to press? Oh, that one. The field is no longer a problem. Uh huh. Up we go. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. And we're turning. Just, oh my god. Can we like close some of these? Seems like you don't want to just leave them open. So what? Off we go. Yes, sir. What are you wondering about? Uh yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. You'll have a lot of time to think about it. Taking the containers is a <laughs> bad idea. Yes. Of course. I'm on it. Although first. I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Why? Hurry up. Why? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that one. Okay. Lick. Okay. Okay. Don't. Wow. I must admit. And they're gonna fucking break glass. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black horrors up there in the stratosphere. And you say not to worry. Just look outside, doctor. See for yourself. Uh oh. <laughs> That's fine, right? Fine. If you were wondering, sir, how large a group of these flies could be. Huh. I can tell you. Yes, yes, I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's still a pretty good way to end the demo. F's in chat for Yasna. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like leaving the case and just tossing out the ship might have been a better move. Yeah. Yeah. It does seem that way, doesn't it? 
Anyways. Neat. Uh, very interesting looking game. Again, I love the retrofuturism aspect to it. I always love seeing like old ass, unlabeled, uh, you know, analog controls in stuff when people somehow manage to get to faraway moons. Um, now, is the whole game going to be like that? I mean, I don't know. That is actually the one big, my one kind of hang up with it is that particular section was very, again, verbose. Like there was a lot being talked at me and a lot less exploration, um, which I mean, either you're going to like that or you're not. And don't get me wrong, it's well written and well acted. So I don't want to take away from it, but it it was very slow. I hope the whole game is not going to be like that, because that would be frustrating. Um, but I, I, I don't want to judge the whole game off the demo. I mean, it is demo and that's sort of the whole point. But um, again, I think it's very a very interesting game. Uh, I look forward to seeing a bit more of this when it comes out. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have I have mixed feelings on it so far. It's very pretty and very well voiced and everything for what it was, but the actual gameplay of it felt very slow. And I don't know why they made that decision. Or the fact that like a lot of the time you have to kind of sit there uh, listening to this conversation going because you don't want to start interacting with other stuff and like cutting off everything that they're talking about, you know? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But in any case, it's uh, already 12.30 <laughs> and I should uh, go to bed. So let's just check real quick if we can pass any of this raid along. Uh, let's go, you know, let's go uh, say hi to Cuxy, who's uh, playing Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Why not? Uh, just make sure I get that. It's two EIs, right? Yes. Boop. Just pop that up. All right. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for uh, me tonight. I will be back tomorrow with more, uh, more, more, what the heck are they called? Next Fest games. God, yeah, I definitely need to go to bed. Uh, tomorrow I have lined up uh, The Bookwalker, uh, Megan the Rat Project, and Lasara Summit Kingdom. Um, so we'll see how all that goes. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me tonight. So, um, you know, as always. Uh, thank you, of course, for watching, and thank you, Wiggins, uh, for the raid, and for any of the raiders that stuck around. I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, as always, uh, thank you, of course, for watching. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, be kind, and try your best out there. Bye-bye.